Hello, Gemini. This is your reading for mid-December and on, you know, December 2019, full Celtic cross for Gemini. New energies and hopefully positive energies for Gemini. Let's see what we got coming in for the full Celtic cross. Remember, this will not resonate with all Geminis, but I'm hoping the Regi Reno reached a majority of you. And if we don't get a positive reading, we fix it. We, we think about how we can work through it. Now let's see what's coming in. Four of Swords in reverse. Stop taking a break. Coming out of taking a break. Coming out of feeling ill. Maybe some of you were ill. Maybe some of you were just not feeling like doing anything. Um, with the subject at hand is the Eight of Cups. It's in reverse. Someone's not walking away from a situation or they don't want to. Um, and it's a happy, they're happily ever after. They want to stay. Someone wants to stay where they're at. They feel like they got their happily ever after with you. Or you feel like you got this with somebody or a situation maybe at work or what you're wanting to do in life. You're wanting to um, accomplish this overall emotional security that you're wanting. What crowns you is the Page of Swords. This could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, yourself. Um, taking on, you know, a message, maybe giving a message, maybe um, trying to move forward quickly. The foundation is the Ace of Cups, offering someone an emotional cup, you know, of love, of friendship, of kindness. And I'm going to clarify these. You know, once I clarify, I can change the story up or um, tell us something more, you know. And also, I'll be giving you a love reading, so stick with me. And we got in the past the Ace of Swords. Someone maybe not been telling the truth. Someone may not have moved forward. Someone, things just didn't get done with the Ace of Swords. You know, it's like a beginning type energy. But it's in reverse, so it's like someone is not thinking about moving forward also. But at the same time, someone doesn't want to walk away from a happily ever after situation. Or they're wanting this, you know. They're trying for this. They're, you know, it's their goal in some way. Because I see that Page of Swords there. In the very near future, you can be dealing with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups can be a water sign. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. Um, the Queen of Cups is, is, is an emotional type energy. Maybe you're trying to get your emotions in check. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that is um, going to be there for you emotionally in, in some way. But it's in the upright, so it's a good card. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe is the Six of Swords. It's saying that you should move on from a troubling situation. Because it shows here that you're not wanting to walk away from something that you think is happily ever after. But the universe is maybe saying that if you do move slightly forward in life, some of you may move, whatever it is, that you may get what you're wanting. Maybe that's what's um, hindering your happily ever after is that you refuse to walk away from negativity or situations. The outside environment, what is coming towards you is judgment. Someone needs to make a final decision on the outside. Maybe someone's telling you you need to make a decision. Or maybe, you know, you should. Your hopes and fears, you're, fr you're afraid you won't come out of disappointment with the Five of Cups in reverse. In the end, you get happiness. You will get happiness, okay, Gemini? You're going to get it. It's just that you're going through some type of emotions where you're afraid to move forward in some way. Like, like something's holding you back. You can leave it in the comments if I have them open. What is holding Gemini back? From getting there happily ever after because something is you're not walking away from a situation that maybe you shouldn't going towards things that are positive the universe is telling you, you better decide what you need to do gemini to get things straight now i need a, uh, two cards for the eight of cups and the ten of cups a lot of emotional energy here a lot of tears a lot of anxiety in some way but nah, not anxiety just emotions you know so i need two cards for the subject at hand for gemini we need to know more what are, what are they having trouble with? Yeah, you're not taking that leap of faith. And there's that Six of Swords. It's telling you to move on through troubled waters, okay? Gemini, it's telling you to do so if you can. Some of you, like I said, may have to move. Some of you are water, but it's also just moving on from a troubling situation. You need to let something go so you can get your Ten of Cups. Now that I see that, I know that's what it is. You're not taking that leap of faith. It's like you kind of lost faith in some way. Now, what crowned you or the goal, and I think it's what's crowning you, you must move forward. You must go forward in life with a, with a lot of energy, you know. Try to bring that energy back up because it's in the past it's laxing, you know. So I need two cards for the Page of Swords in the upright for Gemini. So it crowns them or the goal. Coming out of anxiety, 
but you're not making a uh, decision. You need to come out of anxiety and make that decision is what it's saying. That's your goal, what crowns you. Again, we got the judgment card twice. So very important when it comes up twice. That's why I use two, two decks. Now, the Ace of Cups in the upright is the um, foundation. So someone maybe want to offer you something, or you want to offer somebody something, but someone's having trouble moving on from a situation also. So maybe um, that's why it hasn't come in. It's like you're waiting on something in some way. So the Ace of Cups, I need two cards for Gemini. Two cards for Gemini. Yeah, coming out of taking a break, you know, it's like you're you're wanting your your a wish fulfillment, but it's not going to happen unless you start moving forward again. I mean, you can get all you're wanting to get in life, but if you're sitting on the couch and you're waiting for something to happen, waiting for it to come to you, it's not going to happen. That's what it's saying here. Go offer your cup to somebody or accept it from somebody. Stop. Um, Stop, you know, slumbering. Stop waiting around. Stop, you know, you got to come out of taking a break. Or you're not going to get your wishes. That's, you know, your wishes fulfilled. Now in the past, we got the Ace of Swords. It is in reverse. And the Ace of Swords in reverse. I said what that was about, but I need two cards. Two cards for the Ace of Swords. Then we'll do a love reading also. Yeah, you know, stand your ground, you know. When something that's not working, go forward again. Don't, don't, it's like... It's saying to stand your ground, go forward again with the Seven of Wands. And you're not working hard enough to do that with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Now, in the near future, you got the Queen of Cups. You're going to be down with a water sign. You know, you are. And, you know, when you read for the masses, um, it's not male or female. It could be either or. You know, that's what I'm saying. So Queen of Cups is in the upright. So you may go towards someone whose emotions are more in check. Someone who's got is going to let you uh, give you a shoulder to cry on. You'd be dealing with this person or this type of person. Or you can take on this energy even though you're an air sign. Um, I need two cards for the Queen of Cups in the very near future. Who is this person or what are they to um, Gemini? Two cards please. Yeah, the chariot. This You can move forward quickly with this person and come out of um, maybe abandonment. Move forward from abandonment, you know. If you were abandoned by something before, you felt like something was not working out, you felt like that you don't have enough, move forward now. You have, uh, you know, people on your side. You know, the energies are on your side. Now, possible future outcome advice from the universe is the Six of Swords. It's moving on from a troubling situation. Moving on from troubled waters. So the Six of Swords in the upright. I need two cards for Gemini. Two cards for Gemini. Yeah, move, all, move on from uh, heartbreak. Move on from heartbreak. Something broke your heart, Gemini, with the Three of Swords. And regain your stability with the King of Pentacles. For some of you, you will be dealing with the Earth sign and the upright. Maybe you are supposed to become more practical. For some of you, it's going towards people that are more practical in your life. So you got people that are for you that have their emotions in check. And, you know, they're there for you. They gave good advice. But you got to make a decision because the outside environment is judgment. Making a final decision on what you're wanting to do. So the judgment card. I need, I need two cards for the judgment card. Is the outside environment. Someone needs to make a decision. Yeah, and then your fortune will change. And you can break free from negative situations with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Go for it, Gemini. I'm hoping that the Geminis I'm trying to reach go for the situation and don't hide away. Now, your hopes and fears, you got the Five of Cups. It's in reverse. Maybe you're afraid you won't come out of disappointment. Maybe some of you are just feeling just blah. You know, you're just not feeling like you could come out of this situation. But you can. It says you can. So do it. So the Five of Cups in reverse. I need two cards for Gemini. Two cards, please, for Gemini. Yeah, put an end to that. Put an end to feeling trapped because you fear it. You fear being trapped with the Eight of Swords. You're afraid you can't get out of something. And you're afraid that the things that you go forward, that you think um, you should go for, the things that you enjoy or the things you love, just will just go away if, if you go for them. Uh, if you don't go for them, how are you going to even know? You know, I mean, is life good the way it is right now? You know? Um, is it where you're at you wanting to be? So if it's not, 
take on that Six of Swords energy and move on. Make a final decision to do so. And, you know, as soon as you, you know, hit the ground running, as they say, get going. You know, you could do it. You got that energy. Now, in the end, you got the Sun card. This is happiness. If you go for the things you're wanting, you get happiness. If you don't go for the things you're wanting, you get, you know, eight of swords. You get the seven of swords type energy. You don't get your happily ever after. You're just sitting on the couch and decide it's safer just to sit here. You can't do that. If you want this energy, you've got to go for it. So the sun card in the upright. Two cards, please, for Gemini as the final outcome. Then we'll do the love reading for Gemini. Two cards, please. Yeah, come out of stagnation and come out, you know, you'll get happiness again if you come out of stagnation. Because if you don't come out of stagnation, none of these things are going to work. No, There's going to be no collaboration, no money coming in, no work. So you can get happiness if you don't um, have a lot of stagnation. And there's the Ace of, Wand Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning in the very end. For some of you, you will accept this energy. And for others, you will reject it and, and you'll probably stay sitting on the couch. It's up to you. Now I'm going to give a love reading. This tells me that if Gemini moves forward, makes final decisions in their life, the wheel of fortune will start moving again. For it to move, you got to move, you know, for these energies. Now, I'll be right back. I'm going to clean this up, and I'll be giving you a love reading. Hello, Gemini. This is your love reading. Oops, something wants to pop out for December. Some says express your love, but I'm going to do three different cards because I didn't call Gemini enough. But I need Gemini Summoning and Rising for the second half of December 2019. Three cards from the Angel uh, Romance cards, okay? Three cards from the Angel Romance cards. Three, please. And I'm going to get three cards from the Angel Answers. I may uh, pull a card or three cards from the Psychic Tarot Oracle cards. Whoa. I mean, this is from the Angel Answers. Three cards from the Angel Answers. Let us know something. So I got three different uh, piles here you can choose from or you can choose all three. You know, I do try to combine them, but I need three cards for Gemini. Sun, Moon, and Rising for the second half of December. And those energies do not just stay at the end of December, okay? They start there. I know people try to tell you something happens in the day, but it don't. Not with Tarot, it don't. Now I need three cards. Let's do it. Let's rock the boat from the Psychic Tarot. Ooh, that wants to come out. Fertility, material wealth or something. But I didn't call it yet. It was meant to pop out. Again, it will. But this is for Gemini. Summoning and Rising. Starting the second half of December 2019. Three cards, please, for Gemini. Three cards for Gemini. For each pile. There's a pretty cards, too. I just got these in not too long ago. Trying different decks. Let's see what we got here. Our first pile. Children are involved and rejoice in celebration. You got a yes answer. So if you ask the universe something you really, really want, ask it, and it's a yes, okay? A lot of you will be dealing with your children and rejoicing in celebrations, okay? So you got a wish, use it, okay? Whatever it is, hopefully you get it, okay? You deserve love in the second one, so you do. And remember, we can combine these also in the very near future. You'll have a spiritual union with somebody, somebody you have a strong connection with, and you deserve this type of person in your life, okay? For the third pile you can choose from, ooh, some of you are dealing with unrequited love. As some of you, I did see that heartbreak card, okay? You are dealing with unrequited love, but it's up to you if you go forward. Remember I told you, you have a choice. You have to move forward to get your want, what you're wanting. It says to rely on spiritual strength. So call on you know, the energies that you use, whether it be um, a God-type energy or whatever you do. But go towards uh, spiritual strength to get you through this heartbreak. Because... Um, Things could get better for you. I saw that in the original deck if you move forward. But if you don't and you just, you know, sit on that couch because whatever is going on, you don't feel like getting up, nothing's going to happen. So to get over this unrequited love, pray, use prayer, meditation, but it's really up to you if you get through it or you could stay in it, you know. 
So this is your reading. It's a good reading. You deserve love, Gemini. You deserve the things coming to you. You are going to have a spiritual connection with somebody. We put all these together. Some of them um, may have children. You may have children. You will celebrate. It could be that you meet this person at a celebration. So I don't know why I'm thinking that, but I'm going to put it out there. And know that um, you will definitely have a connection with this person you may meet. Because you deserve to have the love that works and not unrequited love. Forget the unrequited love because, you know, it's not going to, nothing's going to happen unless you, like I said, move forward. It's up to you, Gemini. I'm going to let this go. I'll upload it soon. Okay. Bye.